something. Quit screaming. Melman, put a sock in it. Okay, guys, we gotta get off this island before we all lose our minds. We need to rebuild Alex's rescue beacon so we can get out of here. Did I overhear something about a rescue beacon? I can take care of that for you. Really? Wilbur, I could just kiss you. If I hadn't already washed once today. Well, I've got good news and bad news. All right. Let's get the bad news over with first. The bad news is that your rescue beacon burned down. We know we'll never get off of Cannibal Island. Pipe down, Melman. So, tell us the good news. Well, there are some materials you could use for a new beacon scattered all over this beach. If you can find all of them, I know some lemurs that can probably put it together. So, uh, Gloria, how about that kiss? How about we get this beacon together first? gonna work for me, honey. Let's go back to the land and get back to business. Yeah. <laughs> 
something swim by my ankle. Return to land at once! Our scouts have located a crucial piece for the rescue beacon. It's resting on that rock over there, and I think you just might have the savvy to help us retrieve it. Savvy? I've got the savvy? Oh no, I'm gonna die! No, Melman, pull yourself together. Savvy means talent or ability. Oh, oh, phew. French words like that usually mean something terrible. Anyway, the plan here is to have you use that great long neck of yours to fling three lemurs onto that rock. Once you get them up there, they should be able to bring home the beacon. Press the action button to charge up, then release when you're ready to throw. Melman, you still got two more to go. Yes! Be careful with this last one. You've got a long throw to make. Yes! Nice throw! That should do the trick. Now take your piece for the beacon. Out there. Yep, Malman, you're a regular king of the jungle. Well, hello! Ain't no one stopping me now! Taking a mud bath. Sounds good, Gloria. For you, I mean. are giving me trouble. They keep knocking the fruit out of my tree. I tried asking them to stop, but that only seemed to excite them all the more. C can you take them out for me? No problem. Those turtles won't be bothering you or your fruit anymore. Let's just say I'm gonna make them an offer they can't refuse. Oh, that's great. Uh, thanks a million. You do mean you're gonna kick them, right? Right. Turtles of this match don't match. Well, better than your match, Jack. Hey! Ooh, they're really taking me out to the woodshed today. Hey! These shells are made for kicking. Whatever happened? 
Head into the slow, nice turtle. You've done it! Those turtles never knew what hit them. You take this piece for the rescue beacon back while I sit here and eat a lot, okay? anymore, Marty. should attempt these kind of risky stunts. I don't think I'm wearing the proper to see you. What's wrong, Melman? Oh, wait, I forgot everything. Just getting around in a while sure is a pain in the butt.
want to battle? You must be crazy! My technique is the best! Your style is weak and undeveloped. My pupils can defeat you. Is that ridiculous accent real? No, of course not. But you will still lose. Number one, defeat him. Oh, come on! Now I got the crocs right at me too? One sucked anyway. Number two, take him out. Don't mess with me, man. <laughs> oh, come on. Now I got the crocs mad at me, too. I see you've defeated my pupils. Your technique is not as weak as I suspected. But now you must fight the ultimate enemy. Uh, your technique is impressive. You have defeated me.
Could you ask your cute hippo friend to come over here? I have a special job for her. Gloria, you should have seen me out there. Yep, Malmin, you're a regular king of the jungle. Baby, I've got a little problemo with these crabs. Oh, joy. They're always pinching me, and believe it or not, I'm not quite as quick on these cloven hooves as I used to be. Maybe you can squash some of them for me? If it helps me find a piece for the beacon, I'm a squashing machine. Well, if you can squash enough of them in time, there's a piece of the rescue beacon in it for you, as well as some quality face time with yours truly. <laughs> Nice work. Now, what say we talk about us? over for a while. Gloria needs her beauty. Don't worry. Marty's on the case. Hey, could you ask your cute hip? They were not meant to be swimming around in the ocean like this. Get me out of here! as the next girl, but we've got beacon pieces to find. Well, hello again. 
I think one of the pieces for the rescue beacon is hidden inside these crates. What say we harness our natural chemistry and work together to smash open the crates before the tide rolls in and takes them out to sea? I must say that we complement each other well. Teamwork? But you didn't open a single crate. Uh, no. I, I definitely took out a few. <sighs> At least I got another piece for the rescue beacon. Thanks, I guess. Now, Gloria, I believe we have the matter of a kiss to discuss? Oh, yeah! Pucker up and close your eyes and you will get a big surprise! Psst! Melman, you do it! Not a chance! Who knows where that snout's been? Just picture him as a big giant peanut. Plus, I'll make it up to you. Oh, baby, that was a kiss! <laughs> I shut my eyes, but I still see it. Me too. Well, it's over now. So we just wait here and... Uh, Marty, you okay? I just... I can't live without Alex. But Marty, he tried to eat you. Well, I probably deserved it for getting us into this mess. And besides, I'd gladly take a thousand bites on the butt if it means saving my friend. A hundred. A dozen. Three. You can stay here and keep an eye out. I'm going back for Alex. You don't even know where he is. I'll find some help. See ya!